Wichnor Lock, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Very old wooden shed building here and the estuary for a river feeding in here. And there's the old bridges. Chugs is just under that bridge and here is the A38. You can actually step through here. Oh, look at this. This used to be my office. Not anymore. Thank goodness. No. I'll stick to the canal. Unfortunately, you'll notice the traffic was slow on the one side there of the A38. We have heard of a lady in the previous lock that there's been quite a serious accident uh, further up the A38. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately somebody's life could have changed today. I'm praying that everybody's all right and everything's okay. Um, I've seen it so many times. I spent my life on the road in one way or another. And I have seen it so many times and it's 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 tragic every time. So prayers are with everyone involved. may be pronouncing it wrong but you can just catch glimpses there of the top of Witchmore Church. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong but Witchmore Church and it dates back to the 13th century. Just keeps peeping through the trees. It's got very windy here. <laughs> All craft to the right it says. No entry to the left. And in front you can see some big black floating bollards there and that's warning us of a weir there. It's no problem though, we'll just bear to the right but it is very very windy. But all's good, no problem. The sun's shining and it's not raining. So it's good. a large weir actually. Yeah the weir's a little bit further through there you may be able to see it just a little bit further down but I would imagine that would be a rough ride for a 15-16 ton narrowboat. Luckily, we're going this way. Now we've been struggling with the pronunciation of that, and I don't mean the word lock. Is that Al Ross? Al Ross? Well, wherever we are, that's where we are. We were looking at mooring up there. But it looks pretty full, so we may have to carry on, but we're at uh, Alros Lock. John's just coming in now. And Blaze is just wandering around, as Blaze does.
we're hoping this is the last lock for the day we're hoping to find some more in up by the next bridge if we do we do and if we don't we don't um, it's just one of those it can't be helped but it's uh, nearly 20 past three now so we've had quite a steady day we've been going six and a quarter six and a half hours so I suppose we're we're starting to feel in it a bit now I'm just sort of hovering here but look at that cottage it's beautiful here but I met two subscribers Carl and Kath they're just moving their boat a little bit so that we can get our two boats in so that's very kind of them so I'm just waiting for the go-ahead and then I'm gonna pull forward what a beautiful little cottage been a lovely day's cruising we're moored up at Alwash Alwas I don't know how you say it but that's where we are we're gonna have a wander around the village tomorrow it's late afternoon now so I'm gonna go in and get some tea but we're moored up by two subscribers and supporters of the channel and that's their lovely boat there Emerald yeah Carl and Catherine Gamble uh, it's been great to meet them we're gonna have a coffee with them again in the morning but they've gone to the chippy but because we had an Indian last night bit naughty to have one tonight so we're gonna have cheese and crackers and uh, a couple of poppadons that were left over so I'm looking forward to that and look for a good film but it's been it's been a good day we've got a short cruise tomorrow two two and a half hours uh, to Fradley Junction uh, where sadly we say goodbye to Blaze uh, Steve's picking Blaze up tomorrow but then our little adventure is going to continue at the Trent and Mersey so it'll be good yeah it's been great to meet uh, Carl and Catherine. Uh, we've had lots of correspondence when I do my Facebook Live. I have lots of talk to talks to them and with them. It's uh, it's lovely to actually meet people and you can put a face to people. Bikes, lots of bikes going up and down here. Well, why not? And they've been considerate, so that's nice. Right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go and get me tea. Come and join us tomorrow, and the cruise continues. Oh, it's bright over there. Oh, he's asleep. Hello, Chipstead. Hello. Oh, hello, baby boy. Just checking you're all right. You're very tired this morning. I'll leave you there. I'm not going to bother you too much. Dad just wants to check you okay. There is a dog in here, I think. Is, is, is there? Is there? I don't think there is. Oh, oh, oh. There is. Hello, Dale. I'm only checking you okay, sweetheart. Hello, baby. Oh, you're tired. Wow. <laughs> you all go back to sleep. There. Well, good morning. Oh, I had a good night's sleep. It's Friday, the 13th. Dun, dun, dun. Well, for those of you that are suspicious, be careful. For those of you that are like me and don't give a monkeys, just get on with it and have a nice day. Yeah, Friday the 13th, we're going to go into the village of Alwas. And the first thing I'm going to do is ask a local how you pronounce it and how you say the name of their town. Um, yeah, uh, apparently there's a great butchers there. So we're in no rush today. We've got about a two and a half hour cruise. It's not far to Fradley Junction, where we need to be for about five o'clock. So as uh, John and Ange can drop Blaze off with their son, Stephen. 
so it shouldn't be a problem. Now, I'm going to have a coffee. See you in a bit. So it was great to meet Carl and Catherine. We had a nice couple of drinks with them last night and a bit of a chat this morning and the coffee, which was nice. But we've just done a load of washing for John and Angie. Angie's just took it back to their boat now just to hang it up and what have you. And we're going to take a walk into town and have a look around, just a little bit of a walk. And then it's on to Fradley Junction for us, about two, two and a half hour and two lock cruise. We've just got a, a lock about 500 yards around the corner. So uh, we'll be tackling that when we've been to town. Here we go. <laughs> come on, walk together. We've just come for a little walk and look at this old Austin here. Look at that. Is it an Austin 7? Oh wow. Let's hope they do it up. That's beautiful. <laughs> we hatch cottage over there. Such a little town. Oh, I've spotted two pubs. <laughs> There's a lovely old traditional butchers that sells fruit and veg as well and wines. See the wines in there. Beautiful place. Lovely little cafe. I tell you what, for a small little village, it seems to have everything. Well, I've just found a local, a lovely young lady in the queue there for the butchers. And I found out how you say it. It's actually pronounced by the locals, Oriwas. Oriwas. Even though it's nothing like how it's spelled. <laughs> I know uh, Sean and Colin get confused with the names of different places, like Nozel is spelt Gnozzle. There's lots of different places, but yeah, Oriwas. And there's the local supermarket. So there is a co-op here if you need any shopping. I do love thatch cottages. It turns out, I think you get 25 years out of a thatch roof though, so every 25 years you've got to be re uh, prepared to replace it. That looks quite a new one. Take a look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? And that building down there looks like it was another pub once upon a time. to the co-op there's a fish and chip shop that's it shopping done let's get back to the boats well I did come back to the boat but I just walked on a little bit further just to have a look and found three camels <laughs> and the church that Ari was very nice yeah, Oriwas Church. It looks beautiful. It's, uh, it's actually called the All Saints Church. And apparently it's got a history of over 1,200 years. So, yeah, that wasn't built yesterday, was it? <laughs> right, walk back to Chugs. Let's get her ready. A nice short cruise in the sunshine. On our way, delightful little town, Oliwas uh, is. It's really nice, nice quiet mooring. Uh, towpath can get a little busy, but uh, nothing major. It was lovely. And of course the highlight of the trip was meeting Carl and Catherine there. That was beautiful to meet them. And uh, had a nice tour of their lovely boat as well. So that was nice. Right, Fradley.
Bagnall Lock it was just around the corner from where we were moored and John's going up and we just noticed another boat coming so the other boat's going to come down and then me and Chugs are going up so that's great we're not wasting water it's a breezy morning As you come to the second lock, they're building a new marina up here. That'd be nice, it's a nice place. Right, let's moor up. I'm actually sat now in common lock. The wind's getting up terrible, but there's also a lot of boats around at the moment. Once we get this lock done, we're on our way to Fradley. And then until we hit Fradley lock flight, that's the lot for the day. Uh, but as you can see, there's another boat turned up behind me. So uh, it is getting busy up here, but why not? It's a nice day. Well, we've made it to Fradley Junction in no time. You can see Chugs down there. Uh, just gonna wait for this boat to drop down and I'll be bringing Chugs in. It's the first of all the Fradley flight. Uh, John and Ange are in that next lock, just under that next bridge. So we're just hoping we can find more in through that next lock. Apparently uh, there's large queues at the top of the flight waiting to come down so uh, we're hoping that we can get on the, the moor in there um, before that lock come down. Uh, they have got more locks than us to go through so I've got my fingers crossed. If not we've got outside the swan and failing that it's at the top. And failing that we're carrying on. <laughs> so just in the second lock here at Fradley and apparently we have got more in. Yeah, John and Ange have been in touch. They're moored up just up there and there's room behind them. So we're hoping we're going to be okay for a mooring for this evening. All moored up. That's it, we got here a lot sooner than we actually thought. We're moored up at Fradley Junction. We did the two locks coming up that way on the Trenton Mersey. Um, Steve is going to call later on this afternoon to pick Blaze up. So we're ideal for him to get here in the car, so all oh, that's good. And then tomorrow we're going to carry on north, that way, up the Trenton Mersey, through Fradley Junction, and then we'll see what happens after that. But uh, yeah, enjoyable cruise. Not much of one this morning, but uh, most of them are pretty good ones anyway, aren't they? <sighs>